September 2014 marks the 30th anniversary of ECM New Series. It was in September 1984 that this sub-label of ECM was launched with Arvo Pert's Tabula Rasa, a very special album. How did you first come into contact with Arvo Pert's music? I believe it was uh, in 1980 when I drove uh, from Stuttgart to Zurich and uh, found in the radio some music that I never heard before. So I left the Autobahn and listened on the hill because there was a better reception. And there was some angel music that I detected, which was so incredible that I listened to for the next half an hour to this music. But I didn't know what it is and what it was. And uh, it took me quite a while to find out that this was music by Arvo Pert, who then immigrated uh, to Vienna. We met in Vienna and discussed the, the possibility of recording together. And we thought about different musicians and of course Guidon Kramer was uh, already the person that made the first performance together with uh, Tatiana Grindenko in Tallinn in 1977. This was actually also the tape I heard in this radio broadcast from Radio Re Yerevan. So this music was already existing, but uh, we had not a recording of Tabula Ra of, of Ratres. And uh, I suggested uh, to Arvo Pert, who also know Keith Jarrett, to make this recording with Keith Jarrett and Guidon Kramer. Keith Jarrett I had in mind because of his recording with Gurdjieff that we did before. He had the pulse, the understanding, and for this kind of choral, chordic music that Arvo Pert has written. And in fact, uh, Guidon and, and Keith never played together before the recording, so we came together in a studio in Basel with a new sound engineer that I've never worked with, was Mr. Wildhagen, whom I admired a lot for his recordings at Deutsche Grammophon. And we made this in one night, and it was actually very, very rewarding and, and, and vivid and, and an electrifying recording that could never be repeated afterwards. And they played never together again. This was the first uh, step, and then the next recording was with um, Dennis Russell Davis. It was the Cantos in Memory of Benjamin Britten. Then we recorded with the cellist of the Berlin Philharmonic another version of Fratres in Berlin, and made the montage and the mixing with uh, Tabula Rasa, which uh, existed as a live recording from the uh, Westdeutsche Rundfunk in, in Köln. And we made uh, edits and uh, some sound uh, retouches and then brought it together. And it was actually quite a spectacular sound uh, 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 scape we got together. And Arvo was very pleased. And we found a good dramaturgical line f from uh, beginning with Fratres to um, uh, Cantus and then Fratres again. And the end with, with Tabula Rasa. And the young and the old, and the people from the classical field as well as from, from the jazz side were very interested in this recording. You'd previously had Steve Reich on ECM, you'd recorded Meredith Monk. Why did you especially feel that a new series had to be instigated for the pet music? Because this was the first uh, uh, recording with uh, 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 entirely written music. And I thought uh, with this uh, special kind of uh, project, with this very, um, 
Yeah, one could say at that time, mysterious um, composer who was not known in the West at all. Uh, this could be something uh, to, uh, to, to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And so we started a new series, and I'm glad we did.